Today I'm attempting to weld a frame and this is my first time doing it. Uh, I have tests, you know, welding on scrap metal. I do decent. I think I do decent. <laughs> but yeah, let's see how it turns out. Okay, get on. Okay, there we go. Just stay right there. Here I just use a floor jack and a 2x4 and slightly jack up the frame as you can see on the lower left hand corner here and have my two nephew and my son sit on the bed on the tip of the gate you know pushing the crack you know closing it three of them weigh about 300 pounds total Yeah, as soon as I, you know, started welding, I regret not taking them the wheels off. But I did take off the wheel on the other side, making it easier to weld. So the weld on the other side is much cleaner. They wouldn't let me take all of them. We'll use it. I decided to weld it myself because I contacted a few shops and they want about $800 for it and a few local welder want about 500 bucks plus I have to supply my own material and prep everything myself so I jumped on Facebook, look around and found this welder for $300 with a tank and enough gas to finish the job too so it's a pretty good deal I actually want to take up welding again the last time I weld was back in 2010 I only welded a few times. It, it was with this Harbor Freight Flux Core welder. I bought it for $90 when it was on sale. And I, I really like welding. But, you know, somebody broke in my garage and stole a bunch of stuff. And one of the things that got stolen was my, my welder. And I just never purchased one again. I also told myself that if I ever need, you know, something welded again, I'll just pay somebody to do it because at that time I didn't need a lot of things, you know, well, and I, I come to realize that I need a lot of things, you know, well, because, you know, with my other cars, I need a lot of things fabricated. And with the money spent, I, you know, could have bought an expensive welder plus, you know, welding class. I'll probably do a video of how expensive welds could be. So here's how it looked. I thought I was recording, but turns out I wasn't. I did cut a uh, a plate, you know, a brace to hold two of these pieces together. Uh, here's the crack right here behind this plate. And I sand it, paint it, and then spray undercoating. And yeah, this is how it turns out. It's, it's not the prettiest, but you know, it's holding. And hopefully I get better at welding. I also got some new wheels for the truck. Uh, new tire as well. And I hope to do more videos about this truck. I also bought a 4G Eclipse too, you know. So subscribe to see videos about it. And yeah, if you enjoy watching, you know, please like, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.